Hey, my good friends, Sam Haymart with Test Driven TV. The IIHS has just released their new crash test data for the Ford Maverick pickup truck, both the new updated moderate overlap front crash as well as the side impact. So we're gonna have a look at the scores and unpack what they really mean for you and me. The IIHS crash tests are in for the popular Ford Maverick compact pickup truck, which has taken the market for a ride. And according to the latest and most stringent testing, it's a safe bet overall, though there is room for improvement for rear seat passengers. It took a while for the IIHS to finally release their crash test data and video for the Ford Maverick. It likely took them just as long to get some trucks for testing as many customers have had to wait for theirs. Nonetheless, tests for both the rigorous moderate overlap front and side impacts show that structural safety of the new Maverick is good. The updated side impact testing takes into account the newest airbag design, which was an update in production after July 2022, and it was replaced through a recall for earlier models. The Maverick earned a good rating overall in the test, which is their highest grade. A close look at the post-crash structure shows that the beefy widened lower connections between the B and the C pillars and the rocker channel play a significant role in helping them resist intrusion into the passenger compartment. The test earned good ratings nearly across all of the individual metrics except for pelvis measurements for the driver, which got marginal, and torso measurements for the rear passenger were also listed as marginal. In all, the side curtain airbag provides to keep head injuries to a minimum. In the well-known moderate overlap front test, the Maverick was given an acceptable overall rating, which is one level down from their top level good. But to understand the performance of the Maverick in this crucial test, one needs to look closer at the individual metrics. The Maverick passenger compartment held up very well in the test, with very little, if any, significant crush into the driver space. The front wheel did not intrude into the passenger compartment in a way that would cause significant foot, ankle, or leg injuries. But here's the thing, the IIHS just raised the bar on the test last year by including measurements for the rear passenger in addition to the driver. This is important to note because, as the test has for over a decade focused on front passengers, the automakers have learned a design to the test. This means that not only are the crash structures better, but features like seat belt pretensioners, which can tighten your belt at the point of impact, and load limiters that can let some tension loose to limit stress on the body, have all made the front row safer. In most vehicles, the second row passengers haven't been given as much of that technology, and the new updated test from the IIHS aims to change that. With the Ford Maverick, its testing showed that the rear passenger's movements were not nearly as well controlled, allowing the dummy to move in ways that could result in more injuries. Its rear passenger score of poor outweighed all of the great work Ford has done to make this truck safe for front seat passengers. So even though all of the other measurements and scoring came in with the highest levels of good, the poor rear seat performance in the new updated test means that the Maverick only gets an acceptable rating overall. All right, my friends, there you go. The IIHS testing for the Ford Maverick. Now they do have more testing to come and that'll be along a little bit later. But I gotta tell you, I am uh, I'm always heartened when I see the IIHS raising the bar on their tests, making it harder for the car companies to get good ratings. And that's good for all of us because the government, they don't, their testing doesn't seem to change very often, but the IIHS is constantly ratcheting up what it takes to score well on their tests by adding new elements like the rear seat passengers. And I gotta tell you, that element right there is going to make the car companies add more of the technology to the rear seats to make us all safer. And that's a good thing for us as consumers, right? And so uh, expect it within the next few years, you're going to see inflatable seat belts. You're gonna see smart seat belts. You might see airbags in the rear seat, things that are going to control what happens back there as well as they've sharpened that pen for the front seat passengers. And I love that. I think that's great. Now, if you wanna learn more about the Ford Maverick, we've got test drives, technical, how-to, all sorts of stuff there on our playlist. We have the largest Maverick playlist of any YouTube channel, period. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel right there and stay informed of everything we do. Either way, stay tuned.